Hello and welcome. I am Raghav, and today's session is going to be very interesting. Today we are going to learn what is Trace Viewer and how to use Trace Viewer. And we will see a demo, a step-by-step -step demo, and you can do hands-on along with me. And this will be really, really interesting. And as always, we will start from scratch and go up step by step. And during your hands-on, if you face any issues, you can let me know. Okay, so Trace Viewer is a GUI tool and it is a great way to debug your tests and also check how your tests performed at any time you can visually see what was going on on your on the browser what was your test uh, how was your test going you can actually see visually everything you can see a like a film strip you can see with all the timelines and it will record all the traces of your executed tests okay and you can replay it and inspect visually every action you have performed with every detail like what was the state before that action what was the state of the your application after the action and everything let me very quickly show you a sample and in a moment you will be able to generate this for your test so this is a trace viewer you can see this this is a trace viewer of one of my tests and you can see here in a film strip you can see all your test everything and here you also you can see all the data everything that you have done okay and you can also see before after images and you can see the locators you can also find out new locators you can see all the details you can see calls logs errors console network so this is just a beginning. I will show you exactly what all things you can do with this trace viewer. So here you can actually visually debug your tests, visually check everything on your test, how it performed, what actions it did and everything in detail. Okay. So let us see a demo how to use trace viewer. So for the, using this, we have to add the flag hyphen hyphen tracing with our pytest command okay now just in case you are not using pytest still you can use it uh, you will have to then go into your conf test or maybe your test scripts and add a, a script to uh, enable tracing and then stop tracing at the end but as we have been using pytest in our project we will see this way by adding this flag okay now before i do that let us also see what this will do this will record the trace of your test as your as your test is executing it will record the trace and then generate a file called trace.zip and keep it in a test results directory within your project folder okay and then using that trace.zip you can open the trace like this and you can view that so let us check that i am going to my project let me open my project this is what we have been working with okay and this is my terminal i am on my project folder here uh, let me very quickly just activate my python environment in case you are also using the python environment you can activate it first this is optional step now uh, i will say pytest now if i have to run all my tests i can just say pytest and hyphen hyphen tracing i can say space on or equals on both will work so this is pytest hyphen hyphen tracing equals on or hyphen hyphen tracing space on both will work and of course if you want to run a particular test you can give the test file name also here okay so the rest of the command is same it's just that we are adding this option okay and then let's say i want to run a specific test uh, let's say this one test login orange hrm so here i will say from the tests folder I want to run test underscore login and I will say orange hrm dot py okay I'll just make sure that this is the test we are running which is doing a login on the orange hrm page so let me just confirm this is should be what i want this is tests and then 
टेस्ट अंडर स्कोर लॉग इन अंडर स्कोर ऑरेंज एच आर एम डॉट पी वाई एंड देन आई एम सींग ट्रेसिंग ऑन ओके एंड लेट्स रन दिस एंड चेक सो इट स्टार्ट द टेस्ट एंड ओके दिस इज डन एंड वी हैड मेड ट्रेसिंग ऑन सो लेट एस सी इफ यू फाइंड अ टेस्ट रिजल्ट फोल्डर आई थिंक इट इज नॉट येट क्रिएटेड सो मे बी दिस मे बी बिकॉज इफ आई गो टू माई कॉन्फ टेस्ट डॉट पी वाई आई एम एक्चुअली ओवर राइडिंग दीज फिक्चर्स ब्राउजर एंड पेज नाउ दिस कैन बी वन थिंग दैट यू विल हैव टू चेक दिस ब्राउजर एंड पेज आर डिफॉल्ट फिक्चर्स इन पाई टेस्ट and if you are overriding it in your conftest.py file like this you will have to make sure that you uh, also use the other options for which will enable tracing here itself you can check in the documentation or here instead of overriding the browser and page fixtures which are default fixtures we can use something different something like uh, you know browser context hyphen uh, browser context args and you can actually go to you can check here you will see all the details about browser context and how to use it so you can see this is browser context and you can check here so this is something uh, optional i am showing you so that you can also check this if i just search for this yes i think in the fixtures so if you see here pytest plugin reference here you can see this browser context args marker that you can use so uh, you can check that for now what i am going to do is just to make sure that our default fixture does not get overridden with this what we are using let us just either rename it so i am just going to rename this file uh, so that i'll try without this and now i will go back to my terminal i am pressing the up arrow to go to the earlier command and i am going to run this command okay this is showing me issue because this has is using it here let me clear the screen and now i will say i can try this one this test that we had created earlier this should not be dependent on the conf test.py that we have so i will say py test and then i will use this location of this test the which is test underscore login and i press tab to auto complete and then i will say hyphen hyphen tracing equals on and let's now run this and check so it is running our test okay it logs into orange hrm and yes this is done and yes now you can see here we have got a new folder test results and inside that we have got our trace.zip file okay so you can also try and get your trace.zip file and for this flag tracing we have options on that will record trace for each test off which is the default option even if you don't use tracing option it will be off by default which will not record any trace and then we can use retain on failure okay so, and this is the uh, most used option when you are, have created all your test and you are running it on a regular basis you can run by using this option so that it will record trace for each test but remove all traces from successful tests so that means after a test is run and it is successful it will remove the trace so that it will save space and will retain only for the retain the traces only for the failed tests and this will be most used options in general in real world okay now step number 2 we have checked the trace file is generated trace.zip and now we can run the command playwright show hyphen trace and the location of the trace zip file which will show us the trace or we can also go to this link trace.playwright.dev and then 
just browse or drop our trace file here so let me show you both the options first i will say playwright and show hyphen trace and then i have to go to the location of the trace which is under test results and let me see under test results we have this folder test tests and then we have this trace file so make sure that you go until the trace.zip and hit enter and this should open a browser with the trace okay now here let us see what all we can do here you can all see all your actions that you have done along with the screenshots so you will see your actions and what exactly happened at that time on the screen you can see in real time with all the visuals okay now you can see there is a film strip at the top there is a film strip with timeline so you can check you can hover over and go to any part and you can see what happened you can also just drag and drop to focus on a particular part like this okay so you can see when i just focus here it is only showing me actions from that part okay so i can also do like this and i can do a right click here to disable that and now you can see when i click on any of the actions you can see exactly what was happening and you can see where was the control and then you can also see before and after screenshots so before this action what was the state and after that what was the state and this is the action state of your application okay so this is really interesting and useful we can also go here to the settings and enable dark mode if you like to work in a dark mode you can do that as well okay now here you can see there is a pick locator button so let's say at this point you can see before was okay but after you you may find that it did not click on the button or did not click find the element you can actually go here and pick the locator you can hover over the screen and pick the locator and you will see the locator here so you can check if the locator is right or wrong if there are any issues you can check that here also you will see there is a metadata tab here the metadata tab will show you all the details about your test like the start and time the duration of your test the platform like the browser used the operating system used the screen size viewport etc counts actions all this you can check in the metadata okay now coming back to the actions so let's say i i click on this particular action okay and then i can go to call and you can see all the details about this action like the duration parameters strict true false etc okay then i can see the logs so logs in the logs you can actually see what playwright was doing at the background when you were doing this action or when it was doing this particular action so you can see everything which you cannot see in your test or anywhere in your logs as well you can see what exactly it was doing at the background so waiting for the locator waiting for this button then it was able to resolve it then it attempt to click then waiting the element to be visible and enable and stable then it found the element was visible enabled and stable and then it scrolled to that and then done scrolling and then finally performed the click action and then waited for the scheduled navigation and then it was navigated to this site so this can be very very useful while you are debugging you can check exactly what was happening and in case there was a failure or an error you can again check here what exactly happened at which point it was able to it failed and it was not able to go to the next step and what it was trying to do and it was not able to do so all these things you can get here and in case there are any errors you will also find the errors here and the details here in the console you can see all the console logs so you can see everything here and when you double click you can exactly see the action which was happening here okay or you can double click on the action and then you can see the console log at that particular point okay so both are you can do it both ways then again the network logs everything in your network what was happening when this action was being performed at this particular state you can check you can also filter so all these filters you can check and you can also double click on your action 
and see the corresponding network logs okay now source this is very interesting and very useful you can exactly see your source code and you can see at what particular line was this action being performed okay and here you can also see details what was happening okay all the details of that particular action along with logs you can check here okay so you can see here this is our source and this was the particular line that was being executed if there are any attachments you will see them here okay so you can again right click to go back if you have selected some particular part you can right click and disable that and you can check all the details from this trace and as i told you you can also go to trace.playwright.dev so let's say if i go to uh, trace.playwright.dev it will ask you to browse or drop your trace file and you can go to your trace i can do a right click here and say reveal in file explorer so it is here i can go here and just drop it here drag and drop it here and you can see you can find the same trace here as well okay so this is how we can use trace viewer i hope this was very useful please try out and let me know if you face any issues i hope this session was very useful for you i will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning